just a group of single people and a few married people. And here we talk about how to find the right partner, how to go ahead uh, through the process of courtship all the way to marriage. And the objective is beautiful, happy, peaceful home. And welcome to the part two of this video. Summarize them. They may, be, they may be internal or external. Now, external can be three C's. I, I target three C's: color, culture, or climates. Your color, your culture, your climate. Sometimes, if you find yourself in Europe and maybe you are the only black person in the class, mm -hmm. if you are not careful, you allow that to dampen your potential. My dear, that is just a color. Put that behind you. Tell yourself it's just a color. That's why in crayon we have 12 colors. <laughs> we have 12. Because the beauty of life is, is the color. So life is beautiful when it is what? Colorful. So have it behind you. Life is beautiful when it is colorful. In a crayon park, we have 12 colors, not just one. So if you allow your color, it will limit you. you allow your color. Look away from the color and look at what you can do. And I say culture, culture can be a limiting factor. There can be obstacle. Now you find yourself in a place where the culture is diverse. Like when you come to Ikotura, Guinea, alcohol is cheaper than water. <laughs> For example, we, we buy water, 500 francs. For those of you that have idea of francs, 500 francs, let's say like 500 Naira. I don't know how much it is in dollars. Let's just say a dollar, for instance. But alcohol, you have two for 500 francs. Wow. Sometimes you can you can have you can have three <laughs> it's so cheap so people are giving to alcohol it's, it's a culture now it's like a normal thing so when you don't drink alcohol they see you as an alien we are from you you are not a man you're not a woman so you don't allow such culture to get into you because once you allow that it will affect your vision so culture can be a limited factor so identify what am i what am i trying to say Categorize your obstacles on your way. Are they color? Is it the culture or the climate? Mm -hmm. Those of you that left the shore of Africa, you find yourself in Europe, in France, in Canada, you say, Oh, it's too cold today. I'm used to Medjugorje, I'm used to kind of temperature. So I will not go out. You will not go out, Kinney. No, I can't go to school today. The weather is so. Let me just remain indoors. Please email the notes for me. I will follow online. No, 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 no. If you allow the climate, you will go nowhere. Put up the raincoat, put up the coat jacket, jump, follow them, go with them. Yeah. They are in the lobby. Yeah. Join them. Yes. Just push with that. You don't know who you will meet and you'll have your breakthrough. So you don't allow your color, you don't allow your culture, you don't allow the climate. Like I said, yeah, Nicotura again, we have some strange colors. Yeah. That's a, sometimes as believers, as Christians, we also bring what we call self-imposed limitation. And your mindset you just impose you condemn people outrightly you you know I, I i followed one of your teachings on can you marry outside the church and you went to the scripture you use the scripture you're not just carried away by the traditions of men your backup was out oh, that is princess her backup her stay was the scripture and once that person is a family of god good so you see when you once we have proper understanding of the scripture we can do a lot we can do a lot. So our culture, our climate, our color, and then pressure, external pressure. You don't allow you categorize it. Then we have the internal obstacles, probably disappointment. Like I said, I failed, but I refused to give up. I went back. When you allow disappointment, when you allow anxiety and then frustration. Sincerely, everybody have a story to tell. It's just that it comes in different version. Some of you, when you relocated, you went through hell. Well, you, you had that tenacity, that resilience. No, I will not give up. Sometimes some people were denied job. You are overqualified for the job just because you refuse to compromise. Just because you refuse to have the S variable. Uh, you said, no, for me, I'm a Christian. Say, okay, then go and suffer. I really suffered for a time. That is a test of time. That is part of the challenges. So you categorize your obstacles. Is it external or internal? If it is internal, you have anxiety problem, you have frustration, get books. Get books. I In my book, No Child is a Dollar, I wrote about there is a threat, a lady, I don't know, from Zimbabwe. She really want to school. She really want to study. You can check on, check on it. She really want to study. But at that said, no, in Zimbabwe, then they exchange girls for cows. So she was exchanged for cow as a bride price. 
But anytime my younger brother come back from school, she pick up his book to learn how to read. And she said, I want to school. She wrote down her vision. She was giving out for marriage before age 18. She has three children, but she really want to school. Summary of it is that she later found herself in the US because an NGO visited Zimbabwe and then she was favored. She, she went back to, to high school, college, to write the exam. I think she wrote it almost three times. And later she found herself, she's a PhD holder. Now her story is a motivation for upcoming generation. So you see, she, she never allowed disappointment or frustration. So when you read two books like that, they put you on fire. If they are external factor, you have to work on your mindset. You also have to meet people who have been there, wherever, talk to such people, and then use the force of prayer. Number two, chase your dreams with a focused approach. I talk about engineer. Just engineer, empire is just the goal. Chase your dreams with a focused approach. If this is what you love doing, you want to do it, just chase it. At my time, there are people who want to study medicine. I told myself I don't have capacity for medicine. I don't have that staying power of medical doctor. I also met my friends. I remember one of the our choirs, one of them to study medicine. I remember, I don't know whether it's David or what, I don't know one of them, should I remember? But that is their area. Yeah, Moses, I don't know. But I said, my own is my engineering. A milonko, this is my time to be an engineer. I chase it to have a, you will, there will be distractions. So chase your dreams with a focused approach. Imagine you have planned for a tree and you've planned for a trip with all expenses paid. And on your way, you met one or two challenges and you decided to go back. Maybe you had a flat tire. You said, no, I will not continue with the journey again. You go back and the, 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 the bills you've paid all went into thin air. Maybe it's for a training. You refuse to go to the training. You just, you don't want anything. You want a smooth life. No, life is not like that. You see, you will miss the lessons. You will miss the experiences and you will not add up value to what you have. So you chase your dreams with a focus approach, don't give up regardless. Just have that mindset that I will not give up. Uh, a philosopher once wrote that if you cannot run, you walk. If you cannot walk, you crawl. I think it's TDJX. If you cannot um, crawl, move. And he was demonstrating it and the whole church was on fire. Move, let it be a movement. Don't, don't worry about the cumulative effect, just move, make progress. Today, whenever I come across young people and I tell them my story, sometimes you see some of them shedding tears, sometimes you see some of them being happy, and I tell them, no, my story is just to let you know that you too can also make it. If I can pick up from a place like Kano, Bachrawa, a remote area, and by the mercy of God today, I'm in Kutura, Guinea, I can, by his mercy, I can visit anywhere. With, when Once I plan for vacation, it's just a plan. You can go anywhere, you're not limited again. There's no, nothing like limitation. Now you can move, but the price was paid. I, I was a dropout in Kwame Nkrumah University of Technology, Ghana. I never stopped. I changed location since I cannot afford the fee. I changed location. I forgot to even say that, that that was not my first MSc program. The first one, the, the second one was 2015. I was still in Ghana from Tragini. I traveled to Ghana to do sandwich. On arrival, I was told that the registration is closed. So I said, okay, there's no problem. I just used the money, gave my younger brother who wants to travel out. I said, you can support yourself. And I flew back to Ikuturagini and I continued my work. Life goes on. I was not discouraged. So it was the third one that I now have my MSc. And I know by God's grace, when I rest or do some little achievement, we still advance. Even while I was doing my MSc, I was still running a degree in mission. I didn't stop there. I was doing a degree in mission with Global University because the heart is to touch life in a little capacity. And my office is the educational tool. Because my office, I touch lives. I have a call, I have a call, I have a call. Not everyone have a call to the pulpit. You can be a seamstress, you can be an engineer, you can be an IT designer. And you're, that's, your, that's your pulpit, expressing excellence wherever we find ourselves. Then the third point here I have is love what you are doing. What kept me going is that I love mathematics. Can solve math from morning to night. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I just want to be solving. You know, I don't just want to read. But let me keep cracking, finding the S variable, find X, equate this. You know, the more difficult it is, that's how the more determined I am that I must. In fact, at a point, I remember those days in secondary school, we do say that some, some solutions are wrong. We condemn the author. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. 
I remember some of our experiences when coming for choir practice. I had a friend, his name is Ifine, he also worked with Glow. I will come with a question, I will give him. Why the choir practice is going on? We are busy solving questions. We challenge ourselves, though it's wrong anyway. But you see the passion. We take what we love doing anywhere. So please, as a uh, life, as someone who is on this journey, or on this earth, running a race, you, know, you are maybe a student or you are doing your job. If you don't like the job you are doing, please look for the one you love to do. The pay may not be as good as that, but with time you will grow because there's joy and strength. Once you're, you, you, are, you are connected, you love what you are doing, you will grow naturally, you will attract the blessing because God hates murmurers. We must, we must emphasize that fact. What did Miriam say? What did Aaron say? Is it only you that God is using? Is God not using us? And that was all, and God was angry. So if you always complain about your boss, about your place of work, about the nature of the job, oh, God hates it. Because the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, righteousness so you have to be joyful to be fruitful i love that you have to be joyful to be fruitful so if what you are doing you love it you'll be fruitful you will attract naturally will attract the blessings so if you don't want to be depressed because depression can also kill you don't want to be depressed you don't want to be down you don't want to you really want to achieve your goals in life then love what you are doing as i've said it that's why i started with job 14 verse 1 Man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. In our respective homes, there are challenges. The husband is from a different background. They are from a different background. They have different upbringing. They have different upbringing. And then the Lord now says, and they too shall be one flesh. Now, he knows that this one flesh, there will be differences. That's why he said it's not good that you should put your wife away. Remain there. <laughs> Stay there. You discover to cover. You discover your wife, you cover. Discover, to, is it remain there? That's why on this platform, I really want to thank God for our hosts and all the admin officers, deeper life singles, singles, get it right. Because once you get it right, even if there are challenges, you know that it is part of the game. Anytime I had a misunderstanding with my wife, I have a snow guard. We disagree, we agree. So you know it, yeah. So whatever we can, Disagree, courage. Yeah. The end line is we disagree to agree. At the end of the day, just laugh over it. Uh, these are just the three points I want to drop for us so that I can also have a feedback from us. Probably one of us question what somebody wants to add. Because you know, as I said earlier on, life is colorful, beautiful when it is colorful. So I've added my color. Princess brings her own color. David brings her own color. Dave and other participants also brings their own color. And if you're hearing us later, you drop your comments. Let's make it lively. Let's affect our world. We should not waste time spreading other videos that does not affect our eternity and destiny. These are the videos we should spend time watching, listening to. We need to make a difference. If everyone who have a platform like this will take over the world, our world is becoming something else. So everyone needs to get up and let's go there and make a difference for Christ. So much, my hosts and everyone Thank here. You. My Thank you so much for this. Uh, for this talk or for this submission, I really learned a lot and I was challenged by, yeah. by your story. It's, it's, it's a big challenge because you see a lot of people complaining these days and seeing a lot of obstacles. But I, I see you as someone who saw his obstacle as a stepping stone to where he was going. So your obstacle was your, yeah. was your stepping stone towards your goal. Yeah. And it, it's a lot... I, I'm still going to share my own story one day. I, I have okay. my own pocket of story. And some, it will blow some people's mind what happened to me going through Europe, wow. my journey through Europe and all the way from Europe and to marriage and all the way to Canada. It, it was a journey. Yeah. It was quite of a journey. And yeah. there was a lot of hopelessness. hopelessness. So many things happened and mm. reasons for me not to feel like, okay, you know what? all the odds are against me and I can't move forward. And that was a time I had to seek for prayers, right? I had to reach out to some mm. men of God. I'm like, this is not natural. Some things are just going wrong, right? Because yeah. I, I just didn't see why things were going the way they were going. So, but I, I'm not going to focus on myself today. The focus is on what we have learned yeah. today. And please, if you are watching this, you have not shared, please share this video 
on your profile, on your page, to your friends, to your families, family members, your acquaintances. Let people listen to this story and learn from this. Share now, go ahead, hit the share button right now and share, share, share. And if you watch this video later, as our, our yeah. guest has said, do well to comment. Let's see your comment. Let's see what you learned. What did you get from this story? What did you see? What odds are you going through? What, what is the thing? What's the question that you, that you feel? How do I go through this? Like, we would always look at this um, post later, look at your yeah. comments and provide answers. And if we have to do a repeat video, we'll be happy to do a repeat video or videos. Sometimes you have to listen to some stories to yeah. stay in the game, to stay in the fight. Because yeah. truly, uh, this reminds me of a friend who told me that, yeah, you know, we're in Canada, I have a good job. I have my husband, I have a home, but I feel depressed. I don't know why, you know, for someone to have everything, we just bought our house. We just moved into our house. We just furnished it. We, I have a car. I have a job. I don't know what's it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's this void. It's, it could either be internal. It could have either be spiritual. It could be whatever it is. People struggle with a lot of things. And this is a girl that you see online. She's, she snapped this nice picture. She looks nice. She looks all glowy and everything. People go through a lot and you do not know. And that's why we have this page, group, YouTube channel, you know, some of us have our own YouTube channel by the side that we also use for whatever it is that we do. But this particular YouTube channel is focused on you. We're doing it for you. We want to, you to draw from our own experiences. These are experiences that happen to us that makes us what we are today. And this is what we're bringing to you. And have we gotten everything? No, we're still going. We're still going every day. We're still learning every day. And that's why we're just coming here to tell you. And we're not here to, to, to brag or anything. We're just here to tell you guys that no matter where you are, where you are at, where you are going in between experiences, challenges, you can make it. You can make, make it. it. Yeah. So you can make it through everything that has gone through all the odds. You can stay in the fight. You can discover yourself. You can be anything that you want to, you want to be. Mm -hmm. Every one of us as children had our own dreams, various yeah. dreams. I want to be a medical doctor. I want to be a space engineer. I want to be this. I want to be that. We wanted to be everything, everything you can think about. Yeah. But there are a lot of things that you learn through the journey towards where you want to go to your goal. You don't just have a goal yeah. and just sit there and do nothing. So we see that from the story of Amba here. He had a goal. He wanted to work. He, he wanted to work with Glow. He wanted to work with the embassy. He, he had to travel in the night. There were dangers on the road, traveling in the night like that. It, it, it takes some other, other person will, will, will hide and like, you know what? No, maybe this is not for me. Why did it come at this time? Mm -hmm. When it's not convenient, when I can't make it when it's so soon, so sudden. But those people that see a mountain and say, okay, this mountain is so big. If I can't go through, I'm going to go around. It might be long. Going through is short. This mountain is so big. I can't press through. You find a way around it. It could be across it. It could be around it. It could be you digging around, but you have to find a way to get to where you are going to, no matter the obstacles. Yeah. And that's the lesson that I learned from, from this. And I hope somebody is learning something from this. This is real motivation right there. Motivation with a story. This is not somebody telling some kind of stories, but this person is telling you their own story on how they are, have traveled, how he has traveled to where he is today. So I'm gonna leave the, the floor to other people to contribute. If you have any question, please drop your question. Ask your question, we want to help you, we want to answer um, your question. So please do well and drop your question so that we would quickly wrap it up. And I know it's, it's, we've been here for a while and but the story has been so interesting. We didn't even see the time going. So I'm going to give the, uh, the floor to any other person that wants to chime in to, um, to share. With us. But those of us that are in the diaspora, those of us that are outside the country, 
uh, the, 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 the aspect of uh, color is one of the issues that have hindered a lot from, from getting to where they should get to. Um, the, uh, the challenges, uh, whatever, that we, we, we experience, you know? And as a result, a lot of people have, have not been able to um, get to their potentials. Um, it's an encouragement for every one of us that nothing should hinder us, not the color, not the culture, um, not the color, not the culture, and not the climate. Yes. Uh, that is cold, is hot. Is you are in a war torn zone. You are in a comf comf comfortable zone. There is no place, no location, that we do not have challenges. No location without challenges. Mm -hmm. Every location have, has is or are challenges. Is challenges. It's challenges. So yes. we just have to see how to overcome the challenge, how to excel. And know, and we must always understand that everywhere we find ourselves, there are people that are excelling there. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are, if for, for those that are, that are, for example, in Africa or maybe in Nigeria, uh, for our Nigerian brothers and, uh, and, and sisters that feel, oh, this country is this, is that. People are excelling. People are making it, even in the country that you think it's, it's, it's just too bad, it's too rotten, it's this, is that. People are excelling. People are making it. People are living the dream, that your dream life. Yeah. If you can just change your your your, your the way you're looking at things. Mm -hmm. If you can go contact us, as, as, as Ampa said, you, you contact, you're not proud, you wanna learn, you are ready to learn, you are ready to be humble, you are ready to meet people, you are ready to interact, you are ready to ask questions, you are ready to, you know, leave that place, you know, try to challenge yourself and determine in your heart. I just want to read this goal. Then you, you, you will get there. You will get there. Any goal, anything you, you want to achieve, you will just achieve it. And yeah. I, I, I really thank you very much, uh, Ampa, for, for this, this time <laughs> and for, for coming here to share your story. Yeah. Thank you so I much. hope that a lot are going to be encouraged. Because everywhere you go to, you just need to learn. Every day I, I get to places, even when I get to people's houses, and the way they do their things. If you say this, how yeah. I can do my things, I want to learn how to do your yeah. things. How do, does she keep her cup? Oh, why does she yeah. keep her cup like that? Why does she yeah. do her, her cutting like this? Why does she yeah. do, do this? I'm always, I'm watching. I want to learn. I want to learn. I want to learn. And, and as Ampa was saying, I was this kind of student on the campus that will, we always look for the best students in all the departments. In the departments, <laughs> yeah. I'll look for them. They will become my friend. Whether you're a guy mm -hmm. or you're, you're a lady. But I'm determined. You are a guy. I yeah. don't have anything to do with you. We're not mm. going to do. It. We're not going to do anything sinful. But you will be my friend because we're going to exchange. We'll do trade by butter. I did that on campus. Yeah. Trade by butter. Yeah. I teach you French. You teach me history and 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 and, and uh, what, what do you call it? Diplomatic studies. Uh, his, yeah. his history and international relations. I uh, I teach you French. You teach me English. Or you teach me um what all those courses we took. Uh, you and then we would just go uh, looking for the best minds. I'm looking, okay, maybe if I get into a philosophy class, well, that guy it seems like a very nice philosopher. Yeah. Yeah. My friend. I'll interact with him. I'll yeah. go get, yes, I'll start talking with him. We'll start, <laughs> yes, because we just wanted to, you want to be associated with the best, and that you yeah. want to be as, associated with the best. You want to be associated with the best. You want to grab, you want to get what does this person have that he can offer me? You want to get something. You're not parasiting on the person. You're not, you're not parasitic. It's, yeah. it's an exchange. You have something yeah. to offer as well to that person. You see, he explained to us today that the way he motivated us younger ones, the younger than him, but he motivated them. We have to go. We came here, we're going to get this MSC. His yeah. doggedness. Mm. We're going to get this MSC. He did not 
maybe because he didn't have resources he didn't start to you know try to uh, you know me no 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 no. he was a, a guy of dignity a, a guy of dignity they're the ones that saw his need and yeah. decided on their own to assist him because they felt that this guy he was an asset yes yeah become an asset when you become an asset people want to be associated with you. they just yeah. want to be associated with you they just want to be your friend they just want yeah. to be around you because you're an asset, because you're adding <clears throat> to them, you're adding value to them. <clears throat> that is true. Become an asset. Yeah, become an asset. If you don't have, you'll be the friend of the, the high and the might. Yeah. Your skills you make with you because you're that is the true. best. And you see someone that takes his time to read, to read. He's going, coming to the choir practice, he's bringing some new, new things. Let's, let's, Let's read. And, and that's what, and that's one of the things, one of the things that, you know, I'll always motivate my sister. Yes, yeah, she's, yes, princess, she's, she's my sister. But we, we, we taught libraries in, we taught libraries in Paris. We taught libraries going in the night. Although we like looking at this baby, just always read. This is a book. She just, I'll just be looking at her. No. Okay. Don't, don't expose my secret, how do you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so a it was actually the, you know it was actually the chinese that motivated me because mm. you noticed that the chinese guy, boys and girls that came to france they were struggling mm. with the language they couldn't speak french so they first started to learn the language so when they have mm. to read to prepare for projects and all those things they have to first struggle with understanding the language before they understand the subjects so you always see them in the library. You call them to the library. They don't even bother to get the book to the, their chair. They sit there where they found the book, cross their legs, open the book. No kind of reading, you know. Turn mm. here, you see another one sitting on the bare floor. Open his book, the book in front of him with a little pen. He's reading. He's so engrossed in that reading. They were my own challenge. So, and I see them because of that struggle yeah. that they had, that determination to read and to understand the language and the subject. I mean, these children, they send them from China to come and study. They're trying to make a life for themselves. They, yeah. China is a little bit like Nigeria, where the country is populated and everybody has to hustle. You don't like the word hustle, to work. <laughs> everybody has to work very hard to make it in life in a population of many people. You have to personally give it your best and say, I'm going to be the best. I'm going to stand out of this crowd. So they, their parents send them out there to work, to study, you know, and they are there to study. And when you see the results, boy, you're like, you speak good in good friend. What's going on here? 18 over 20. 19 over 20. <laughs> it's a literature class. What can he seemingly write that the, that the French man the French lecturer gave him 19 over 20. Ah, no, I have to get the group. I have to go too close to them. Like, okay, how do you approach Question. this subject? How do you approach answering this project work? And that's where I began to understand those five, is it five W's? I think, or three W's. Why, what, when, uh, how, why, what, how, who, and when. When, yeah. So those five W's, so they, they look at that. They went from that. They try to understand. They walk around it. They walk and they build around it and they build around it. And you're like, wow, it takes resilience to, to struggle with the language and be able to get, get good grades from it. So I have a quick question for, for Amber. And I think we okay. have to ask that question. I see that you had a lot of struggle. I know you're, you're very happy. You try to take it with the joy of the Lord and you know being a Christian and everything. Of course, that's the number one thing. If you're a Christian, first of all, your connection to Jesus, to God, helps you through life. Okay. Yeah. So, but what there are no times where, in spite of you being happy and looking at it from the positive light and all of that, but there are no times when your obstacles kind of it was difficult. Like you're like, ooh, this is crumbling. Um, it's the weight of it is like almost crushing yeah. you. Were well, there are times like that? And then what did you do to come out of them? Okay. Thank you so much. In fact, such times are like repo. If you've done in engineering, there's this topic wave in physics. We have excuse me, wave. We have repos. They come. 
the calm. In fact, last 2020 was one of the toughest years for me too. In fact, the fact is I even thought of giving up. Mm. Thought of giving up, I said, oh God, it's too much. Why the struggles? But one good thing is when such thought comes, there's the reflection of the word. The word Sincerely, the word of God is my source of stay. Yes, it's my source of stay and my source. That's why I said something. Parent may not be there, your partner may not be there, your friend may not be there, your sister may not be there at your zero level. But yeah. the world, the world. At one point, I was like, wow. In fact, there was one time you go over here, um, you if you are hardworking, you 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 live above your means. And I have a lot of dependence. So I don't, I don't, I, I maximize my time. Sometimes I take children in nursery school classes. So I went to one of the classes, I was coming back and I was just thinking, Lord, I have an MSc. What's happening? I have an MSc. Why they struggle? I was almost shedding tears. But you know, the world will come weeping, may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And the peculiarity of your destiny allows you to pass through some things. God has mm. brought me into the ministry of help. So if you meet me as a student or someone, as a family, you want to like share your challenges with me, already have a first-hand experience. So I know how quick I always respond. So the peculiarity of your destiny, we must know that. Not every person will pass through what I pass through. No, there are people that are it's not even that in that area. Some is just, maybe their challenge is just time management. You have everything, but you don't know how to manage your time. And so you see yourself suffering. So there are times like that, sincerely, I must confess to you. But the word of God comes like a consolation. And sometimes you listen to hymns, listen to hymns. And another time you can just get the, someone, someone, you know. Another thing again I do is to connect with old friends. You know, I have this grace of remembering precious. If I meet with you, I can remember some of our actions for years. I can just connect with an old friend, then go back to our secondary school, you know. Fun time. I also love comedy. I love comedy love comedy a lot. I just want to laugh. I can just make you laugh or try to you make me, you know, this I want to call stress redundant, reducer. There are stress in this world, man. That is why I started with that script, that scripture. There are stress, there are challenges, but you must go to the world and you must look at things that make, if you're someone that loves um, hymns, in such moments, you play your hymns. Mm -hmm. So for me, the world, and then I try to connect friends or sometimes I can share I don't I'm somebody that if I have a challenge I don't just keep it to it to kill me no I can just call a good friend or my partner this is what I'm passing to and they share with you the Chinese had a proverb that problem solved shared is half so so sometimes you, if you're in that condition and you're listening to me sometimes you need to open up you need to open up and then go back to the world and once you are reading the word believe it just know that weeping may endure for a night joy comes in the morning all, all right. right so thank um so yeah thanks so much for uh all that you are dropping before i even go into a few things i just want you yeah. to repeat that you've been saying one quote for for, for some time now <laughs> men are in sizes yeah. life is in phases and then yeah. the last one is our challenges are one. in degrees. <laughs> Our, Our challenges. <laughs> That's very powerful. Our challenges are in yeah. degrees. Yeah. Uh, so that 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 is one of the things that it, it really drove home with me. And also the other quote you had was um contact begat yes. impact. Yeah. So this these two things is something that if I forget everything that we talked about here. These are the two things that yeah. I will remember, uh, you know, because yeah. um, just like you said, you read my story on uh, Facebook and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> to be to be candid with you is is a reality um, when you look at uh, the statement you made about contact. Most of the yeah. things I've been through, um, the turning point for me is when I meet the right information, which comes with the right type of contact, right? So, um, yeah. 
I want to encourage everybody that if you are struggling with something, it means mm -hmm. that probably you need to look into your contacts. You need to look into your yeah. circle of influence. Yeah. And um, about that, I had a question like, how were you able to determine what kind of contact you need at what phase? You know, mm -hmm. because um, it looks like you went through in fact your roller coaster is <laughs> your life roller coaster is very interesting i mean it takes guts it take guts to to go through what you've been through especially when you're going through it it looks like you went through it alone so it, it takes a lot of guts a lot of people have backup families or friends or all those things but it looks like for you you were hitting the road like a lot <laughs> that is crazy you know so uh i just wanted to i wanted to i want you to share like how is it you're able to pick the right contact at what phase of your life okay thank you so much um one of the things that helped me again is that i gave my life to christ as a youth so already i know the kind of people i'm to mingle with and not to mingle with. That's one. So I mingle with people of like passion. Secondly, uh, I'm the friendly type. I take advantage of my environment. I, you know, when it comes to intelligence, we have what we call the social intelligence. We have the linguistic intelligence. We have the numeric intelligence. But a lot of people lack social intelligence. That's why I see somebody so good, so brilliant, but because you cannot associate with people, then you become limited in life. Uh, I read a, a quote somewhere. He said, your net worth is a function of your network. The people you network with determines your net worth. So anywhere I find myself, I befriend the environment. Of a truth, I really want to appreciate my classmates who they were there for me, my good friends. You can imagine. Yes, my good friend, my classmates. Still today, we have a platform. I remember those days. Any state I travel to, I have where to sleep. Why? As an undergraduate, I encourage every one of them. I don't envy you. I remember one of time after our result was released, two of my classmates had first class. I went and bought success card for two of them. Success card. They are my classmates. They had a first class GP. I congratulated them. And those who had carryover, I went to their rooms and encouraged them because I've seen my servers. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are in sizes, we have our phases, we have our challenges. So I, I just have to be like an encouragement to everyone. So with such, I also enjoy herbs in times of need. Yes, I also enjoy herbs. And I'm the one that I'm not trial. If I know that... Oh, touching, Moses cannot be I, I just want to unpack what you just said. It, it's, yeah. Some people might not get what it means in real terms. Like you took your okay. time to go and... Um, give out congratulations that's like in yeah. the corporate world you call it social currency you're buying some social currency right you are kind of yes. investing into the future you don't know the future. you don't you don't know Ooh. who is going to be there to um yes to throw you out of the pit when you need it yes. the most and yes. just yes. because you've been able to be valuable to the people around you for over a long yes. period of time it looks like yes. you've grown your bank account of social capital, right? That's and right. That's when it is right, uh, when the time comes for them to now bring back that, it might not be even those people that you impacted, it might be somebody else. But the That's point true. is, you are investing uh, into the, the ecosystem. And, yes. you know, there is this one principle of the Bible that applies to both sinners and Christians. Given, yes. Givers never lack, regardless That's of true. whether you are a Christian or you are an unbeliever. God does yeah. not respect uh, whatever um, oh. faith you have. It's just, it's just a principle that works. Yes, in principle. All phases, right? Now, um, I also, before we leave, I just wanted to touch on one more thing uh, okay. before uh, we leave. So, as a man, yeah. my brother, let's be real. Yes, sir. You get right. tempted. You get tempted by women. Several. Right? 
you get tempted. And I want to understand, is it that you never got distracted by uh, women around? I'm sure your friends usually used to talk about, oh, this woman, yeah. that, this woman, that. And you seem very, very um, focused towards yeah. your goal. So yeah. how is it that you're able to combat <clears throat> okay. or manage that phase, you know, as a man? All right. Thank you so much. That's a very good one to everyone. Temptation is, mm -hmm. is, is constant because we are told in the scripture that we'll be tempted by all means. And as a youth, as a young man, one of our challenges is the opposite sex. Okay, yeah. the challenges are there. I can't deny the fact I had them in thousands. Uh, so you had pressure. Them, a lot. <laughs> 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 okay. I have them. In fact, the problem I had on my own part was that um, on the other side, the, the ladies were the one really running after me somehow because I would just go to everybody. But I made up my mind right from campus that any lady by mistake or by chance that I happens to sleep with, I just have to be frank with you, that I happen to sleep with, I'm going to marry that lady. You get it? Okay. Uh, any lady by chance, I'm already an undergraduate. That's, yes, I'm sleep, I will sleep with, I'm going to marry that lady. Now, since I'm not ready for marriage, I'm still struggling, then that thing cannot come to place. So I have it in mind, if I'm not ready for marriage, I must not bring you into my inner cycle. Does that stop me from relating freely with other ladies? No, I had a lot of good mm -hmm. sisters with chat. At a point I remember in my undergraduate days, the ladies were asking, who is, uh, who is Oprah Hampas girl, who? Because, I'm just there for everyone. So these are those things that really helped me. I see anybody comes coming my way as my own sister. I did not crush. They are dead, man. We are young people, but sometimes you just have to like remind yourself of where you are coming from. Sometimes you just tell yourself if you go into these the repercussions because we I look at the end of a thing from the beginning. I'm not just carried away by the fancy of just having a lady by my side and all that. And sometimes as boys, what we do also to while away those times, we just discuss about it. Man, this sister is pretty, man. You know, just chat it and we'll laugh. Wow, you know, we'll talk it over and then we we'll leave it there. For well, some other guys will take it extra mile. <laughs> well, for someone like me, I never had the heart to take it extra mile. I just say it and I just drop it there. Oh, that sister that took that solo, wonderful. That girl is so beautiful. Yeah, it's what the eyes have seen. So we just say it and then. You know, all the time, also ask God to purify the heart, you know, constantly, <laughs> just to keep us going. Yeah. Mm. So you definitely did struggle with that too. Okay. I'm, I'm, so, a, I'm, um, a, young, I'm a young man, sure. I said I'm a young man. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Those things are embedded. You just need control. And yeah, I just, I just want to put... I just wanted to put it out there that yes, uh, even though you are a very, very focused person, you still had that struggle too. So, um, because to be honest, especially in the age we are right now with the Instagram age, it's very, very difficult yeah. for people to not struggle with um, the opposite sex. And that can be a major setback for a lot of people, right? Like you, you try to have yeah. a goal in life and you find yourself entangled yep. and derailed because of yeah. uh, somebody right that come into your life. And um, lastly, yeah. before we, we, we round up, um, I just wanted to know, now you are an engineer and everything. What's the next goal? Yeah. <laughs> What's the next goal? <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much. Actually, after my engineering degree, I discovered that I really have passion with um, working with people. You get it, working with people. I know engineering has to do with tools and machinery. So there's a shift. That's why somehow, somehow I'm into the educational line. So the next goal uh, is to just to make more impact and touch more lives. So wherever I, I any free, just to, to just to touch more lives, to make life easy for those coming behind me. I think that is the next goal. That's why I have uh, uh, what I call passes, like a ministry the Lord gives me. It's called Put a Smile Initiative. Put okay. a Smile Initiative. Parsi, Put a Smile Initiative. So that's my 
life mission. Just want to put smiles on people's faces. Wow. Wow. Amazing. I don't know about you yeah. uh, watching, but uh, for me, I've picked up a lot of um, things. See, I have a note here. I've <laughs> written them down. I mean, uh, I have a lot of quotables from you, from everything that you said. And I wish that the Lord will keep growing you. Um, Man. Not just from the small circle that you are impacting people. I want yeah. to see that you impact more people on a Thank you. larger scale. And yeah. maybe that will even mean that probably you need to expand your medium of of um, Rich. projecting your your God your God given uh, uh, focus and uh, gifts. Um, you, okay. Perhaps you need to have a channel which you need to start putting out yeah. um, the, the 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 impact that you've received through all of these challenges that you faced. Because trust me, there are so many people out there that need to hear this. That thank you. They are currently going through what you've been through, right? Yeah. And I just want them to remember that whatever you're going through, there is always yeah. something that is better at the end. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've had uh, me too. I've had my bit of <laughs> of roller coasters, um, <coughs> but we'll leave it for another day. <laughs> we'll leave it for another day. But uh, thank you so much. Really, really I appreciate, appreciate your time and thank you. the thoughts at which you put into delivering this special message. It it came from some really deep reflection. I can see. So. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, I just want to encourage all of our members, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so because we have um, good people like this lined up that will bring on to, to come on Impact Lives. Uh, for me, this is really a cheat code to learn from different people. And, yeah. Um, I'm happy to be part of this uh, movement. Okay. Thank you very much. And just to let you guys know, he has a book. And oh. what's, what's the name of, what's the title of a book? Can you show book. your book, please? <laughs> okay. No charges. No charges. Yeah, no charges. Beautiful. And wow. where, where, where can we find your book? <laughs> Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, it's on okay, Amazon. Okay, so if you guys wow. can go on Amazon, yeah. it's not so expensive. You yeah. can get a oh. copy of this book. Do you have it in digital form too? Yes. Amazon Kindle also? On Kindle. Okay, yes. great. So we have this on Amazon Kindle. No child is a dollar. So yeah, you guys can please go and look for this book on Amazon and read it. I think you would be blessed. And you can also that way bless our speaker and support <laughs> yeah. him because yeah. he has taken time to write this book, write his experience and write all the content that would add some value to people. Yeah. Uh, I would also, we will try to put the link somewhere in the uh, comment section below so you guys can see. We'll write his name clearly so that it will be easy for you to locate him when you're looking for the book to purchase. And where else can we find you? Are you, are you on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? Yeah, yeah. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn. Instagram, not very active, but uh, just like when David said, I had to just go and activate all those my social platforms. Yes. Actually. Deborah has been pushing and uh, I've been a bit reluctant in that area. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're missing out. I need to pick up. Yeah, I need to. You know, sometimes what we are passing through really, really has a way of, you know, limiting you in a way. Why are you like social media is the first platform and I've been a bit reluctant. And uh, uh, one of the things I do again, I don't just rush out to the public. I also take time to pray. Okay. As God for you, as God for direction. But I think the time has come. Now look at it. I'm here. You guys gave me a platform, so I think the time has come. Sometimes you can rush out just because you want to be known, and then mm. you you miss the glory. For me, whatever mm. I'm doing, it's the glory. So I believe the time is now. So I'm going to work with you guys and extend my hands of fellowship with partner, and then we'll make impacts together. So Dave, I'm here. Carry me along. <laughs> okay, so he's on Facebook for those who are looking for him. I think he said he's on LinkedIn also. Yes. 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 Okay, so he's on LinkedIn, so you can look for him and you can follow him and 
share whatever you, you can share with him as well. Thank you everyone for connecting. I don't know if anybody has anything else to add. I want to say thank you, a big thank you to you for your time because time is more expensive than money, truly. You can get money if you lose money. You don't you get time if you lose time. So yeah. time is more expensive than money. So thank you so much. But those who did not comment, you who did not connect live, you missed out. But we still have you in our good graces. You can always write your, your question and we'll be happy to try to answer them. Please watch the replay, share this to your friends. You don't want to miss this content that was shared earlier. I see some people are just joining. Wherever you're joining from, do well to let us know where put where you're coming, we're connecting from and let us know what you think about this, how you are blessed, what topic, what point, what message, what story touched you and how is it going to help you to make better use of your talents, your um, experience, your challenges and everything that's happening around you. So if there's nobody else that has anything else to add, I will be saying, have a great weekend. For me, it's still morning, so I have the whole of Saturday in front of me <laughs> and Sunday. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. And we will always come here with um, speakers and topics, breaking and shaking tables. On that note, <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.